Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is your baby beauty as a baby world. We are the Porsche twins. As you guys can already see from the title below, we're gonna be doing if firstborn were 100 percent honest. Wealth and I are the firstborn of our family, so we're gonna be answering some questions regarding firstborn and keeping it 100 percent real. Are you a firstborn? If you're also a firstborn, let us know in the comment section if you can relate to our questions or our answers. And if you are not a firstborn, stick around and get to know how it feels like being a firstborn. <laughs> so let's get right into today's video do you think your parents are straighter with you compared to your siblings <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i know it's hard to say but that's just the reality of life like i feel like parents are more straighter with firstborn than the other siblings not like in a bad way but just like in a positive way because we are more of like a learning phase for our parents you know we had their first experience in parenting so there's no way you're not going to make mistake when it comes to parenting someone that because we are learning from them and they are also learning from us yeah. so that because there are some things now that i started my mom to be like oh she's just like calm you know like she in a situation whereby she does it in a more calmer way and you know in a way by whereby we first born we are meant not to make a mistakes because you know we are the first one so they want us to be that leadership and you know to set good examples to our siblings so i would say right now the teeth has turned or should i say has changed to the sense that our siblings are even more scared of us than our parents yeah. <laughs> which is kind of uh, funny in some yeah. excess i would be like oh the things that my mom was supposed to be like you know talk about we have we are the one now like we had one teaching our siblings let me just put it in that way yeah you're right yeah like that's why i said the life that we are raising as a firstborn no longer exists yes. that's what was like through us they were more straighter than us than our younger ones because our life no longer exists so they are like okay they have learned through us so they're trying to like correct that like with our younger ones like being more or less straighter it, like yeah. i feel like they're doing it in a more better way. like oh no i'm not supposed to do this thing like this let me put it that way especially if you even have a long age gap you know the world we the resource doesn't exist again so now technology has become you know and there's a lot more like oh parenting now you have to become friends with your kids, kids and things like that so it made it more less straighter like you know when i see something my siblings done and my mom just have to overlook it i'll be like why are you overlooking this thing like because you don't overlook it, <laughs> you don't overlook it at all. <laughs> have you ever resented your parent for the responsibility placed on you I, i'm gonna stay on neutral reason yes and no firstly is that i'm i'm glad i'm the firstborn because when i look back at some of my mates and the way they um they react to things in life i'm like i can't be like this that's why i said i'm not gonna resent them because if they have been phrased me that way i won't be where i am today or it won't have even shaped me to where i am today but yes i kind of resent them because you know imagine like since we are very young we have always they have always put that responsibility on us even unknowing to them you know like they will tell us oh this is how we're going to pay the house rent even when we're not even working yet so it's already placed on us that we have to go along with everything that is going on so we don't really have the um mindset of a child since we are young we have already been placed with a mindset of an adult since we are young and which really really affected us badly because our um, our childhood wasn't us being shout it's us being as an adult like we have to think of things like oh my mom said the answer is going to end in um next month so let me pray for her oh my god i pray she was able to raise the money which we are not supposed to be going through that at very young age so i really resent that uh not like in a bad way but like oh my god i wish um we are we, we are able to live our life very carefree like we are not um, being raised like an adult since we are young yeah actually very well. i feel like they made us more mature very quickly which is i want to say it's not good but sometimes it just feel like it robs you of your childhood because the bundles has already been placed on you right from the beginning weight was not even supposed to be placed on you yes. you know whereby it's not as if they bundle us but at the same time it looks like a bond because we have to think with them you know their worries becomes our worries instead of us to live like a normal child whereby exactly. you don't have to think about this thing you have started thinking about it even when you don't have any support at that moment to be given to them but you know that moral support and that um uh, emotionally support what? has been there right from the start which our siblings now don't even have they don't care whether the house rent is being paid they don't know they even don't whether the amount of being paid but right from the onset right from the early stage of our life i already know how much our parents are paying for house rent for feeding how it's been going about you know and these are things that is just an adult stage it's not for a a child yeah. or for children so 
that way it's not like being resented but at the same time you just feel like oh i just wish they couldn't tell me then because if they had not tell us then we would have been leaving that you know that smiling well, baby like what quickly my show so we are it has us made us my show and i feel like it's very good because it made us so much intelligent and that's why sometimes our peers when we sit down together and talk they just talk nonsense and i just feel like you know that's not that's, <laughs> that's not the way like i don't really approach life we don't approach it like an a, a, like a child we approach it like an adult so i don't think like there's any situation that we are going to replace it that we're not going to like conquer it because we have already been raised with that adult mindset since we are young yeah how has been the first one shape your personality and the way you approach life um it has shaped it more in a positive way than in a negative way i'll put it in that way because there's nothing that has advantage that doesn't have disadvantage but the positivity overweighs the negativity because as a firstborn it has always made me to have this kind of leadership mindset whereby i just want to you know like it gave me this kind of i don't i don't like relaxing i don't like sitting down i want to lead in everything i want to be like a go-getter because that's how i'm being i'm being raised and at some point it has also made me to always be like i don't know how to say no to people even in some aspects where i'm supposed to be like no it made me be like i always want to say yes to people even when i don't feel comfortable by it because of the expectation and of the things placed on me you know to the extent that because i know they want us to set good examples for our siblings that way i wouldn't say no even though if those things or if that things doesn't really sit right with me or if it's not even what i want though i'm alhamdulillah i'm blessed with a parent whereby they don't choose our career for us but i've seen some of our firstborn that they will go through that they have to study a course or they have to go to uh, they have to study a course that wasn't even their choice but picked out by their parents but just because they are being the first they couldn't say no to it and it's kind of affect us sometimes negatively even in our own personal life mm. so the extent that you know when some people ask us something even when we are not comfortable with it, because we just don't want them to get angry so to that way we don't know how to say no to them so mm. that's why i said it shaped my personality to the extent that it made me being a positive person but at the same time it's kind of like this give me this thing of like i don't have a say in my life it just feel like that to me but not like in a bad way yeah you're kind of right like i feel like we are raised to be a perfectionist and it shapes us like in our past in our personal life we always want everything to be perfect like we always like no we can't make a mistake in this so it really really shapes us and we're very we're very disciplined and whatever we set our mind on we have to like make it get done without any mistake there so i feel like it shape our life whereby and we're also very kind because in everything because of the struggles we are going through and everything whenever we see someone we're always very empathetic to they're like oh i don't know what this person is going through i think that's one of like we're always just caring yeah. and it made us so much independence maybe we should just put it in like way. overhaul yeah do you ever feel like you missed out on certain aspects of your childhood because of your role as the firstborn yes exactly yes mm -hmm. i'm not gonna deny that because uh like we said earlier we are raised very we are raised to be very mature at a very tender age so we don't live in the moment like what our age meant i can't like you know happy moment to them it wasn't like an happy moment to us because we have like oh no this is not really important right now let us face the one that is very important which really affected us like when i look back at some things that we're supposed to like be carefree happy live in the moment we are not really we are not really happy in that moment because we have a lot of worries like oh how to get this one done how to get this done which really affected us like i felt like we miss a lot of our childhood like we are not supposed to mature very early at a very young age yeah i feel like you're right because um i wouldn't say it like in a bad way <laughs> because I, I love looking things at a positive way so and being a firstborn is actually it's just more of like a blessing and i don't want to say the harder one because it's a blessing to us but at the same time it's just like uh it troubles of our childhood you know when we are little uh most what you are supposed to want my favorite toy my favorite this my favorite that but we just think like i don't know why we think oh my god what are we going to eat tonight and how is mom going to pay the house rent oh my god. so it's made us like what the things that we we're supposed to talk to during our show we weren't we able to talk about it we aren't able to rejoice about it because we could be sitting there with our age mates and the things that's going on in our own head is how to prefer mom to be able to provide to be able to do this and to be able to why the rest are just like i want to lick ice cream i want to go to amusement park i want to go to this one <laughs> but you just look at them and be like are you for real like is that what you're thinking right now because exactly. i am actually thinking about how my mom is going to be able to solve this thing or she's going to pay my school fees 
I need to be able to do this and that for me. So it, it, at times, it, you know, when people are like, uh, when some of our age mates, they are like, oh, I want to buy eat clothes. I want to buy, I don't even care if I put on a new eat clothes, even though I have it, like my mom normally buys it for us. But, you know, I don't even care. What I'm caring about is how she's going to be able to solve those responsibilities that is in front of us. So I feel like at times it troubles our child because I'm supposed to be carefree, not even have any worries. Like, in the like we, can't even, we can't even play because, you know, us playing feels like my, we are looking like my mom, like you guys are playing when I'm going through this or you guys are not being serious. So things we are supposed to talk to my mom like oh my god ah, look at this toy we can't do it because we felt like saying that to her means we are all serious or we don't know what she's, she's going, going through at that, that moment. moment what is something you wish your parents understood about being the firstborn i wish they understood that we are just a child i wish they just understood that we are still need to like <laughs> we are not the grown out of the th thought or think or thought us to be to be at that moment i just wish they understood that we are just a little child just like them there were once the child too and i just wish they could my mom is not the firstborn so i wouldn't say she understand or she understood what it feels like to be a firstborn and because they actually sees us like uh someone they could talk to which is actually very good but at the same time they, they i just feel like they should have just calmed down a little bit and just be like okay when you grow to some certain age that you've understood something then i'll be able to tell you all these things instead of them telling us at that moment where we are, we are whereby we are still a baby or we are still a shout that don't even understand. You know, there's sometimes when she starts talking everything, I don't even understand what she was saying. But I have to be serious, I have to be like, okay, yeah, ma. I, yes, I have to be attentive <laughs> about it, or even though I don't know. So I just wish they know then that we are just a shout. I, and I just wish they know that we are just like a learning phase for them. Yeah. And I feel like the I feel I, I wish they understand the mental or like the toll it took on us. Like I don't think they understand our mental health at that moment because there are some things that it really it was very hard but we can't really express it to them and the first like even when we want to try to express to them like this thing is taking a toll on our meter and the first like oh what have you gone through this is just like <laughs> something that you have no you have to like be um be independent you have to be like strong like and we're not supposed to be strong at that exactly. young age but i wish they understand that we are not supposed to be strong i wish they let us be the child we are when we are very young yeah is there something you envy about your younger siblings a lot i envy their childhood like the way they are carefree the way they, the way they have no worries the way they are able to live um their sh live live their life like i envy it to be sincere because they don't have no worries they don't they they live the way they wanted to they're able to play without uh, any responsibility or any Team put on their shoulders like I, I i wish like sometimes you know i envy them and i wish like we can switch roles sometimes because whenever there is a situation we are always the first person it is like they don't even my mom don't even like look at our younger ones they send they just call us like like we are the one that has to be like get the situation out of the out of the way which is not like that with our younger assemblies like if there's any situation maybe like a tough time we always want to be like no you guys have to get this thing out of the way which i really envy our younger assemblies see boss i feel like <laughs> yeah I, there are a lot of things i mean them about not even about the when they were little even now that they are now adults too because i feel like they look at us as the messiah i don't know like they're their savior to come and save them you know when things happen or when something happen the instead of them to like take the decision on their own they come to you and be like so how should we do this how should it and it's kind of like i don't have we don't have another song or another people to put us through exactly. the way you guys are coming now to come and show us and be like oh how to put it through is is something that i envy you know like what i said before there's sometimes whereby things i expected my parents to you know to become like straight about they are not straight about it anymore which is i feel like a lot of first one can relate to it and you just be like not even about just be like oh my god i wish then how they actually go in it, in it now is the way they go about it with us with us so it's something i envy about and you know the, uh, like when we started working it's just for to cater for the family responsibility now our young girls may ask this kind of thing this mentality with them that their money is their home money. money why our home money it's, is ours money like it's everyone's money, money. money. it's kind of crazy like and you know because you have already been this you already have this mindset of the leadership you also want to you also want to perform that role very perfectly, very perfectly. Very. so to the sense that it feels like a shame to ask my 
younger siblings for money. Yeah. Like I could not accept a gift from them. Instead, I feel rather like give it I, I rather them. give it to them. I rather even when I was actually suffering or even when I was actually going through something that I needed money from, I could not ask for help. Yeah, you're because right. Because I just feel like no, 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 it doesn't make sense. So, so I I having them because they have someone to run to. Why I don't have anybody to run to except Allah and my parents. Yeah. If that's if that's if they are available yeah. to to provide, to provide for, for we eat but if they're not i just have to cry my hands out and just pray to god to just you know to give us a part yeah. what is a piece of advice you did give to your younger self about handling the role of the eldest <laughs> maybe we should go first i feel like one of the best of advice is i'll tell like live in the moment always live in the moment like don't let um your worries overshadow your happy moment like it has always been one of the advice and always leave your age don't feel like oh my god i have to go fast to do this i have to do this on time that's always been one of the advice i wish i can give to my younger self like you are you are born to make a mistake you are not born to be perfect so always give yourself that time like oh and learn from your mistake not like you should be worried like oh my god how am i supposed how, am I, how did i make these kind of mistakes that's always been that's some advice i would love to give my younger i feel like the advice i give my younger self is you have to put yourself first regardless whether they're your parents whether your siblings whether they're outsider if you feel like you have to say no something say it no and let them know why you wanted it to be no i wanted to say yes even people say oh you should say even if no people agree for you to say no and if you feel like yes is what fries to you just say yes about it you don't have to so put yourself first because i feel like that's one thing that we never did we never put ourselves first but right now if i'm if i have to talk to my younger self like put yourself first they are gonna live regardless of whether you're able to do it or, wh or whether you're not able to do it they're going to live they're going to survive and live in the moment live in that moment stop thinking about how you have to grow so that you can now start capturing for those responsibilities instead just live in that moment because you cannot take that moment back and you cannot go and live back in that moment you've missed it you've missed out on it yeah uh, that's the advice i'm going to give 